Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I am going to teach you how to make these, the drop down roll reaction menus. So they can be stylized pretty much any way. Um, you can have lots of options. You can actually only have up to five lists for, uh, in a sapphire embed uh, using sapphire bot, which is what I'm going to go over today. Um, but SapphireBot is free, and they say they will always be free, although they do accept support on Patreon, so if you like it, go and support them. Uh, but I have it set up for my server. It took it maybe about an hour, hour and a half to set everything up the way I wanted, but I think I have it the way I want, and I'm going to show you how I did that. So, for that, I am going to show you the SapphireBot web panel. Uh, so what I did there is first I created an update roles template and basically this has a template that says that user roles have been updated and it uses a variable called roles added and then it has the removed which has a variable called roles removed and that should look like this so a uh, small note here that this will only appear to the user because I had it have it set to ephemeral uh, the way it works. Uh, so this template will get output to the user in a ephemeral command response once you click on it on the actual um, on the actual drop down. So the way I got that to work is I set up uh, I set up the primary roles um, and also the ability to remove all roles for each of the role menus. Uh, so to start with that, you would go to components, and for example, uh, let's start with gender. So uh, if you don't have this, then you would have to actually type it. So you just type like drop down gender or whatever, and then uh, click create, and then it'll pop up the same menu. Uh, I added five options because. Uh, there are four options, including the remove gender roles action. So what this does is it assigns, it adds the role he, him, uh, but it also removes the role for everything else. And the last thing it does is it calls the update roles template with an ephemeral response. Uh, so once you select this on the menu, it'll give you the male role, remove all the other roles, and send you a response saying, uh, hey, your your roles have been updated to this, and so on and so forth for uh, for female. I'll give you the she her role. Uh, remove roles. I'll give you he him other. Uh, it'll take away he him other and they them, and also the same with the ephemeral update roles template and so on and so forth. Uh, the remove gender roles will reset everything, so it'll remove all the roles, and it'll also send the same message. Uh, so let me go back to messages. And go to role selections, gender, so all of those options were on here. Uh, but this is where you actually assign the emoji and the associated action for each selection. So under gender we have male, and if you click on the gear icon to the left, uh, you will see action. And then you can set that to you know, whatever action you had in the actual component select menu. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, for all of that, so it has that too. Sometimes they change order, but I mean, you can just find it on the menu. Uh, makes it kind of difficult if you have a lot of roles um, or a lot of roles that are grouped together. Uh, but this is what I call my primary server roles. Um, so once you have all of the component select menus made, you can make that into a single uh, list of action rows. So the way that you would do this in a message, uh, I can't add any more, but um, I've added one, uh, an empty one here at the bottom. So the way you would do that is click on Select Menu, and then click on Select an Action. So this is at the row level, not at the uh, not at the list item level. So if I wanted to do, you know drop down section games or something and I could I'd have to reference what that actual section has 
So if I go back, changes. Uh, if I go to games here, so I have Overwatch, Rocket League, Apex Legends, Borderlands, Star Trek, Dyson Sphere, Fortnite, Valorant League, Minecraft, Elden Rings, and then I gotta remove all games. So that removes all the roles and also sends the ephemeral message. Uh, so, so if I wanted to add games to this, sorry, I could go to select menu at the bottom here, and then we'll do games, and for option one, we could start putting Overwatch, and set that down games. Uh, and then a gear will appear here once an action is set at the action row level. And then I can set Overwatch. And then in the preview, I have Overwatch here in the menu so, they, so that it can be selected. Uh, but I have my embeds the way that I want, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that the way it is. Uh, let's see, I'm also going to uh, go into welcome messages which I have here. So when people join your server, you can have a bot welcome uh, people and show you specific channels, show their avatar URL, so on and so forth. Uh, so what I'm going to do with that is go to welcome messages and then go to join messages. And I've already selected a channel, um, but let's so uh, when, when you get here, it'll say new message, and then it'll ask you to set a channel. So I set my welcome channel, and then it'll ask you to continue styling the message, which on this one is here. It's already created. So right here, I put the title as welcome to Zach's community, and the description is hello, and then it gives the user mention, so it mentions the user so they know to look there. Um, then I have indented embed or indented embed fields with the actual channel link to um, uh, to some text that says "Get roles, follow me," uh, general chat, and those all point to channels in my Discord that you, know, you might want a new user to visit. Um, and for the avatar up here in the right hand corner, I have a variable called user avatar URL. So that will look like this once everything is set. So you'll have welcome to Zach's community, hello, username here, our user mentioned there, we're glad you're here. When you're ready, check the channels below. And it'll have the get roles, follow me, general chat. So if you click on get roles, it'll bring you down, back down to the roles info, and so on and so forth. And that's just kind of an easy way to do that. Uh, you could also use an action row with a button and just have the button say, like, follow me, and set the, oops, sorry, uh, set the style to link, and then put the link to the channel there, and it'll show up as a button on the bottom here, uh, or underneath the actual embed, and then they can click on that button, and it'll do what they think it does. But uh, that's it for this tutorial. And I hope that helps you in some way. Um, I know it's I know it's difficult setting up uh, you know, embeds and all that. Um, they really do kind of make it uh, dynamic to work with. Uh, I think the only difference here between say Me6 and Dino versus Sapphire is that Me6 and Dino are a little bit more automatic, but Sapphire Bot gives you a little bit more control over the customization and the look and feel. And there actually are uh, Me6 styled message kits so that it looks like Me6 bot, but it, it'll actually say Sapphire uh, when it posts the embed. Uh, but anyhow, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I have links in the description for everything. Uh, so go and check that out. If you're interested, come and join my Discord and you can use them for yourself and need help setting it up, I'll be happy to help you. All right, thanks and have a great day.